then too late, my time has come. I imagine him being dragged or taken, you know, um, and cuff out from his cell or out from that visitor's room, perhaps. You know, if it's immediately after talking to his mother. Um, too late, my time has come. They're leading him down the hall now. Send shivers down my spine. Body's aching all the time. Well, something as frightening as this would definitely uh, give you some shivers and everything. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. This could be some combination of the former cellmates and furthermore to his family. I imagine this is like he's, you're going on some long haul. There's the execution room and there's a bunch of glass. And out there there's, um, there's several members of his family uh, who you know apparently have the right to see him who some die, uh, and perhaps several members of uh, the victim's family, you know, who who definitely want to see our narrator get executed. Anyway, he's saying goodbye, if he can, you know, perhaps to his family. Goodbye, everybody, I've got to go. Gotta leave you all behind and face the truth. I can imagine him, you know, if I were doing a music video of this, which I'd love to do someday, <laughs> uh, looking up, and like, and there's like the electric chair. And why it's an electric chair, we'll get to and leave y'all behind face the truth. Mama, ooh, uh, I don't want to die. There's the clue that me to believe it's an execution. Uh, if I'm, or, um, sometimes I wish I'd never been born at all. Obvious enough. He's been through a lot. He wishes none of this had happened, not, not even that he'd been born. Uh, and there's a little slight musical interlude. Things like that. Imagine, like, they're preparing, maybe there's, like, a you know, chaplain of some sort giving him last rites. Uh, and then, I think it's someone in the family uh, speaks up. You know, they're, they're angry at this. They can see he's remorseful, and they, and they love him and everything. So someone says, I see a little silhouette of a man. Silhouette, uh, a, a shadow. Have you heard the phrase, you know, so-and-so is a shadow of his former self? Uh, and this, I think it means he's, he's looking at our, our narrator here, who's all despondent and, 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 and terribly you know, hurt and everything, and frightened. And he says, this is terrible. He is a shadow of himself. He, is, he has been reduced to nothing. And, and that's, he doesn't deserve that because he's remorseful of, of what he's done. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scalavouche, Scalavouche, we do the Fandango. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. Thunderbolt and lightning. Very, very frightening me. If his method of execution is an electric chair, that would involve electricity, which is lightning. Very, very frightening me. They're saying, don't kill him. Galileo, 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 Galileo. Galileo um, was, a, as you're pretty sure you know, a uh, famous uh, scientist uh, who you know, went against uh, the, um, uh, the authorities of his era. In his case, it was the church. And uh, they didn't like him preaching things about the relative positions of, you know, earth and moon and sun and all these things. Uh, and punished him for it. I think he was sentenced to, like, you know, uh, house arrest or something was it for a while. I forget what it was. But, but he was punished unfairly. And, you know, our guy here isn't a scientist, and I don't think he's facing the church, but he is being, according to the family members anyway, unfairly persecuted. So the Galileo. Magnifico. Uh, I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Again, no one cares. He has no, he has, you know, possibly some bias against him for being poor and, and um, powerless. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him his life from this monstrosity. Hey, come on, take pity on the kid. He grew up in poverty. Which, by the way, leads me to the, the previous thing I mentioned of it being a, uh, an armed robbery. That would give further reason for his why, you know, he was, he was poor, he was starving, you know, he needed to, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not entirely his fault. Spare him his life as monstrosity, don't, don't kill him. Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? Will you let me actually leave? Would that be cool, you know? Um, and then you could furthermore recast the meaning of easy come, easy go. It's like, you know, poor people in general, easy come, easy go. What does it mean, what difference to you if one random poor kid is, is killed or imprisoned or set free? Just let me, and he's pleading, of course, to, to his captors. Will you let me go? Uh, Bismillah. No, we will not let you go. And that's some combination of guards and perhaps family members of the victim. And there's this whole argument between the two sides. So we let go, let him go, we smell it, we let you go, we let you go, let me go, let me go. Oh, no, 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 mamma mia, mamma mia. That's just, that front, that figure line is just, uh, just, ah, you know, agony. I, I want to the other. No, we will not let you go. Uh, Beelzebub, which is another word for Satan. Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me. Um, and this is, you know, simply referencing pain, torment. Everyone's saying, ah, oh, you know, the, the devil has it out for me. The, the 
Kate Guy's saying that because, you know, I'm, I'm getting killed. The family's saying that because our family members are being killed. Heck, even the family of the victim could be saying that, like, you know, is the devil going to interfere with this justifiable execution? You know, in any case, everyone's upset. Beelzebub is the devil put aside from you. For me, for me. And then suddenly, bow, now, 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 now. Now, what happens there? As I imagine it, uh, and again, I'm speculating. Um, this argument gets up, uh, people are shouting at each other, guards are shouting. One guy uncuffs our narrator so he can place his arms in the you know different set of cuffs on either side of the electric chair. Uh, but he uncuffs him and then gets distracted by all the shouting. Me, for me. And the guy, the narrator, is looking at both of his hands. They're uncuffed. For me. He realizes he has a chance. Bow now. And then he smacks somebody. Just, like, jumps on some guard somewhere and pummels him. Um, and what this whole next section is, is he erupts into fury, you know, uh, is his latest emotion from about to be executed, and now he has a chance. He has a shot of escaping, maybe, which is, he doesn't really have a shot, but, you know, for this moment, it feels like it. He's uncuffed. He's just, you know, struck one of his guards. Uh, and I just told this thing, just brawling with the people, grinding random objects, you know, and someone, like, tries to call, you know, the emergency system, like, you know, more guards are being sent from, you know, the next door cell block or something, I don't know. Um, it says, so you think you can stone me and spit in my eye? By the way, uh, st stoning is another method of execution. Um, it involves throwing stones at someone until they die, which is a really slow, gruesome way of executing someone, unless you get a big stone at the cranium really quickly, which is still a gruesome way of executing someone. Anyway, so you think you can stone me and spit in my eye? You think, you think you're gonna kill me? Frick you! <laughs> so you think you can love me and leave me to die? That could be directed at his family. Which, you know, they're not leaving him to die. They're, they're actively protesting at the very moment of his execution. But uh, in the middle of narrator's fury, you know, he, he has some blame for them too. You know, screw you, you haven't saved me yet. Which, of course, they don't really deserve that blame. And he knows that on some level. Uh, oh, baby. Can't do this to me, baby. Just gotta get out. Just gotta get right out of here. Escape. You know, and then there's the little, you know, rock section thing. I imagine just struggling with everyone and, you know, in his fury, actually taking down like three or four guards or some craziness, running down that aforementioned hallway, you know, and like being grabbed in every limb and struggling away and elbowing people and crap. You know, da -da 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 -da. 